everyone. My name is Keith, amateur radio call, WD4PTJ. With the sunspot cycle increasing, we're having more de-expeditions go out to activate rare DXCC entities. And most all these de-expeditions will be working split. So today we're going to talk about split operation. What is split? How do I work split? And when should I work split? Split is simply when an amateur radio operator is transmitting on one frequency and listening on another frequency or range of frequencies. So why would he do that? That spreads out the people that are answering his uh, call, in case this is a rare uh, D expedition, a rare DX entity, or some station that is created a pile up. That, that spreads out the people that are answering his call so that he can hear them better. He may hear him say something like, listening up 5 to 10, 5 to 15, even maybe 5 to 20. Most of the time, they'll be listening up from the frequency they're transmitting on, not down. But always listen to see what, what they're transmitting, uh, what they're listening on. Another thing this does is it clears up the frequency that he's calling on. and That way, anybody answering him is able to hear him easier than if there was a huge pileup on the very same frequency that he's calling on. So that's why somebody would be working split and basically what split is. Okay, I'm going to show you how I would sit up to work split. Now this is gonna vary according to the radio you have and you know the type of menu it may have, but I'm using a Kenwood TS590 uh, SG and so I'm gonna show you how I would set it up to work split. In order to work split, you're going to have to have a, a transceiver that has an A and a B VFO. Most modern transceivers will have two VFOs. So we're on the A VFO right now. And let's just say there's a station calling here. And here's where the B is right now. So first thing we want to do is we want to make the A and the B the same. So I'm going to hit this. That will make them both the same. Okay, so I'm going to take, so let's just say that he says he's listening 5 to 10 up. So I'm on the BFO, BVFO now. I'm going to tune up. Let's just say about 7. Okay, I'm going to go back to A. That's going to be my listening frequency. Then I'll hit split. You'll see it says split now. Okay, like I said, we're on the dummy load. When I key the mic, you're going to see it changes to the B, and it's at 28477.04. So that will go back when I unkey the mic. When I key, it goes back to the B, the frequency that I'm transmitting on. So I'm transmitting 7 kilohertz up, I'm listening back here at uh, 28470. And that's how you would sit uh, this particular radio up to work split. And it's going to be similar... On, on radios, you know, you just need to look at your uh, manual for your radio and see how to get into the split operation. It may have a on-screen menu uh, for some radios, and you get in there and see how to set up split. I have a short clip here of me working the Tango November 8 Kilo D Expedition in the Congo uh, using split. Uh, watch how the frequency changes uh, when I'm transmitting and then comes back to his uh, frequency. Whiskey Delta 4, Papa Tango Juliet. Whiskey Delta 4, Papa Tango Juliet, 59. QSL 59, thank you. Thank you, Assess. When you're getting ready to work a DX station, always listen to see if he's saying up, to see if he's working split. It's always a good idea before you transmit to listen and see what's going on. If you like this video, be sure and hit the like button and feel free to subscribe to the channel. 73 everyone.